Hello, we're here on Economy Days at New Frontiers 2016. I'm Alina from Kiwi Connect and I'm here with Hayden Glass, who is a consulting economist and author of a new book, Going Places, um, co-authored with Julie Fry. Hayden, do you want to tell us a little bit about the book? Sure, yeah. It's about um, how New Zealand can change its uh, immigration and immigration policies to try and encourage uh, more people who were born overseas, more smart, creative people to come here. And also how we can make more of the fact that we've got an enormous um, overseas population, how we can make that a greater national asset. And along the way, it tells the story of the last 25 years or so of New Zealand's um, migration flow. So people coming in and, and people leaving the country and paints a picture of kind of where we sit um, at the moment. Right. So, uh, I mean, why would you say in a nutshell that New Zealand needs to attract uh, more creative people from overseas? Well, so what we have at the moment is a system where it's really good at collecting people who want to work. So New Zealand is a world leader. Um, 93% of our, uh, of our immigrants are employed six months after arrival, which is amongst the highest in the world. But what we, what we are suggesting is, not, um, is, is adding to that people who... Um, who, who aren't coming here to work for somebody else, adding some experimentation around how you could um, encourage those types of people who might come here and do something different and do something new to actually have an opportunity to be able to do that without, without you know, having to um, jump through a whole lot of hoops up front. Right. Uh, you, you also mentioned the extensive uh, expat community that we have um, so many Kiwis living overseas. What, what um, value do you think they can bring whilst living overseas to New Zealand? Yeah, so... Um, part of this is about uh, kind of what kind of country does New Zealand want to be and we see it as y y you want to be connected to the world and so having people from other countries here and having New Zealanders in other countries is how we maintain connections with other places. So what would be good is if we could diversify the places that New Zealanders can go. Because at the moment we're tightly connected to Australia. There's the largest New Zealand population in Australia. But we're already well connected with Australia and it's right beside us. So it would be good if we could get New Zealanders to have the opportunity to go further afield and to stay connected with New Zealand and to, and to build those bridges with other countries. Right. Um, have, do you have any comments around the, the economic benefits that, that can be bought from people's extended networks beyond New Zealand? Yeah, well, the evidence, um, this is one of the things that we cover in some detail in the book, and the evidence is basically that migration overall is a small positive impact. Um, so the, the political angle on it is really powerful. It's a huge amount of debate, and it outweighs actually what the, what the economics shows, which is actually um, in the long run, um, migration gives you, a, gives you a small positive impact. But also um, diversity is really valuable. In fact, a lot of the conversations here today have been about, okay, um, diverse teams work better. And so trying to um, sprinkle together, trying to bring together that kind of chemistry that happens when... Um, when people who aren't like each other kind of come together, that's that's part of the magic of what we're kind of trying to achieve, and and it's hard to do that um, at a sort of national political level. That like in the sense of immigration policy, that stuff really happens at a individual connection level. So we're trying to we're trying to uh, make that stuff possible, make it possible for people to work together more easily through opening up immigration just a little bit in this particular way. Sounds like some really useful stuff. So when, when does the book come out? March 14. We'll be in the bookstores. 15 bucks. Do the world a favour and buy a paper copy. <laughs> a paper copy of Going Places by Hayden Glass and Julie Fry. Thanks so much, Hayden. Pleasure. Bye.